Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of how to backup the router configuration using TFTP server. Let's pick and design the topology. Here I will use GNS3 simulator. Now I will take the router series 3600 router. I will use one Ethernet switch and I will use the virtual box ok now router 1 can be connected to switch and switch can be connected to virtual box First of all, I will start the virtual box. In virtual box, I will install Windows XP operating system. So the XP operating system will be booting. Okay. Now I will start the router. Right click and select the start button. Okay, now the router can be started. In GNS3 simulator, the CP usage can be used 100 percentage because in router we can start means the 100 percentage of CP usage can be used by GNS3 simulator. So if we are using other device means it it will be display not responding let's we can check the cp usage here we can see 68 percentage so we can go to router console port here we can give go to the global mode here we can give line console zero here we can give no exact timeout n ok now right click the router and select ID, ideal pc value using ideal pc value we can reduce the usage of cpu ok the star symbol indicates it should be compulsory so if you are using this value means it can be reduced let's we can check yeah in previous before setting the ideal pc value it can be display the cp usage is near to 60 percentage now we can check 24 percentage okay first of all i will configure the router so router can be connected to the switch so through the fast ethernet port it can be connected so the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the in that port i will assign the ip address so go to the router console port here i router in privilege mode first of all i will go to the global mode configure terminal then i will give the side the interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here i will assign the ip address ip space address 200.200.200.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit here i will use the uh, ip address as 200.200.200.0 that network uh, the interface the default gateway can be assigned as 200.200.200.1 so now we can assign the ip address to the virtual box here I will install the Windows XP operating system. So go to the start menu, my computer, and here we can select the my network places, view network connections. Here I will right click the local area connection to and select the properties. Here I will select the internet protocol TCP IP properties. So here I will change the IP address 200.200.200.1. Subnet mask is 24 and default gateway is 200.200.201 ok close
okay now the IP address can be assigned let's we can check go to the command prompt and give IP config yeah the IP address can be changed 200.200.200.2 to subnet mask is 24 and default gateway okay now the user system can be pinged to router whether the connection can be established or not let's we can check ping 200.200.200.1 yeah we can get replay from the router so the TTL value is the TTL value equal to 255 so t the expansion of TTL is time to leave here it will display the 255 so 255 means if the user can be pinged to router means the value starts from 255 otherwise if the user can be pinged to another user means the TTL value starts from 128 it can be ready use depends upon the router in between that users okay in user in user system I will install the Windows XP operating system here I will install TFTP server so using TFTP server only we can config we can back up the router configuration let's we can check go to the console port here we can see the router configuration show running config okay okay this is an show running config means the router configuration can be displayed some of the commands are predefined and some of the commands can be manually configured so this configuration can be backed up using tftp server so what command we can use here means copy space running config space tftp server press enter here we it will display address or name of the remote host so the tftp server i will install in windows xp operating system so the ip address for tftp server is 200.200.200.2 so let's we can give 200.200.200.2 okay the destination file name so what uh, in the that router configuration can be served in which name so here i will give cisco enter okay the configuration file can be copied let's we can check go to the windows xp operating system yeah the file can be copied it will be displayed okay now we can check in the user operating system go to the my computer in local disk select tftp root here yeah here we can see Cisco so the router backup configuration can be saved in TFTP server so right click open with wordpad let's we can check yeah the router configuration so from the router configuration we can backup into the TFTP server so for what purpose we can backup the router configuration means if the hacker is if the hacker can be possible to change our configuration so each time we cannot be manually configured so if the configuration once we can configure the router means that can be back up into the tftp server means if any hackers or uh, if there is any changes in that configuration means we can automatically back up that configuration from the tftp server unserved in router thank you